Welcome back to Dream of Does Game and Dream to your play more Symphony of War in the film Saga. We're heading into chapter 20 wildcard. Um, I did do two arenas just in the off stream. It was just the bronze and silver. I've already done them so many times, so when I do the gold and the platinum arenas, I'll show show off those because we haven't seen them yet. But for any bronze or silver arena tokens that we get, I'm just gonna do them because we can, and they're very easy. It took me all, all of like 10 minutes to do both. So, we're gonna get right into the deploy into chapter 20 wildcard. Heard about this place. These lava tubes will pull you over, pull one over you when you least expect it. Best to avoid the hot spots on the ground. Well, best to avoid venturing in a volcano, but you kiddos are too brave for your own good. This is true. Okay, so I'm assuming these are spots that will hurt you if you go on them. Okay. Lots of treasure. But assuming we have to get to there. So one... At least two treasures on this side. Oh, this is up top, and those are up top, and two treasures over here. So we'll want to send at least a fast unit this way, a fast unit up here, and a fast unit that way, probably. Oh, these are dragons and sorcerers. Okay. Guns. No cannons. Okay, that's nice. Lots of gun units, though. Lots of archer units. Okay. So as I said, we'll want like... Maybe like Roland to go this way. Barnabas to go that way. Where's Barnabas? Um... Diana up the middle. Abigail as well, maybe. Um, oh, some of these people can level up or change the class. We should do that. Cloud render for sure, somewhere. Guess I can also send someone up here, take these guys, and come down. Maybe that'll be cloud render. Uh, Lysander is a pretty good troop like to get Warlord Tatar going. Stefan. Jules. We have so many units now. <laughs> my, my Simon unit is very limited. Uh, Yaromir, Sybil, or Rascuja. Hmm. Probably Yaromir. His units are probably going to be the lowest leveled. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. Reach the stone gate, yeah, which is up there. Um, don't die. Avoid taking hazards. And 11 turns to do so. Okay. So if we get to here, we'll be able to take these guys out. Yes, yeah, so we can walk over it. We just probably shouldn't stand in it. Okay, pretty good. It's like, what do we do with all these people, right? I kind of want to have like cloud render start coming up this way, maybe to deal with them. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. A never Diana can get right up here, so we'll do that. Perfect.
Hmm. Hmm. Yaromir. Hmm. It's like, where do I put all these people, right? Oh, we can attack. Okay. Oh, we've got... Yeah, we got an archer. Nice. Even better. I love this part. I like to take out that um, archer unit first. So let's do that. Or at least really limit them, right? Um, My friends are that means we can kind of put Abigail over here to prevent these guys from getting too far this way. Break their resolve. Can you attack? No, you can't. We will always find a way. Let's take out these gunner units with you. Or at least hurt them. I think you coming here is fine. It must be done. The army is ready. And then everyone else can kind of just come this way. Did you need something? Yeah, okay. This looks not too bad. Oh, they did get one of my guys. That's surprising. <laughs> All right. Nice. Ouch! That was a rough unit there. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Ow is what I have to say to that. Uh, these archers are not nice. So Cloud Render, destroy them. Or mostly destroy them, I guess. That works. I like to do this because you can get some XP here. And then move up. Okay. Stay strong, everyone. Hmm. Can we come here. Maybe we can take these guys out with everyone. Nice. We did. Good. I didn't realize that was one of their guys. Ha! Huh. Alright. Maybe I wouldn't have moved you there. Yeah, that could actually kind of be bad now. Bet you didn't see this one coming. You're correct. <laughs> uh, shoot. At least we can get behind an attack in here, so.
attack in on this side. Nice. Much less threat. No threat here. <laughs> Pretty well no threat here. Very nice. I think we send... Maybe we just send Ephraim up this way then. Real here. There we go. Ready. We'll move up a little and we're gonna revive on ourselves. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's looking better. And we got we got rocked there. Not great. Nice. Oh, well, they took out our healer. That could be worse. Huge levels. Okay. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? All right. First off, we're going to attack in here. Do a little bit of damage that way. Then we're gonna just come in here with Abigail, a couple dragons, you know, pretty decent. Bet you didn't see this one coming. I don't think they're gonna surrender to us, so let's just kill them. Nice. Nice. I mean, that's pretty good too. Victory for oh, we don't have anything there, so you can come in, attack, and then move out of the way. that. Ephraim can get up there as well. You can make your way to that chest. Honestly, I think we do this with you. Um, and very likely we could do a blessing on you to get right up in here. And also Exemplar. A paladin never surrenders. Just to start beating these guys down. Yeah, because we're going to need that. Lysander can come up the rear here For my homeland. to heal and revive our guys again. And you get to attack here. No surrender. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll just destroy you. Okay. That's everybody. It's not very nice, you know. <laughs> Ow. 
Ouch. Wow, they did a lot. Nice. That's what we wanted to see. Take out as much of them as we can. Taking very little damage back. Awesome. Oh, are they on the lava? So they're taking damage, that's funny. My friends are counting on me. I love this part. Okay. We need jewels to get up there. It must be done. Wait there. Cloud render can start coming back around this way. Now we can get treasures with you. Nice. I can do this. He will always find a way. If we put you up here, can you attack? You can. Nice. Getting real thirsty here. Might as well do this just in case. Okay. Ephraim. Normal attack. Destroy these guys. Big levels. Nice. They still have fair morale, which is not great. They're just going to move up a little. I think if we put Lysander here to attack this guy, should be okay. Yeah. There we go. I must stay strong. Let's go take out this guy. Yeah, that's pretty sweet looking. This guy's the least hurt, so let's take him out. There we go. Is that everybody? Looks like it. Now it's just a matter of getting all the treasure. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought might happen there. Ouch! That's actually quite rough. Obsidian. Very nice. Yeah, you need to back up and heal. You can come up here, though. Alright, Ephraim. Destroy them. Perfect. Jewels. Take them out. Nice. Huge. I must not fail. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? Okay. More obsidian, even better. Nice. Break their resolve. Let's render them. Very nice. Repent before the righteous. Diana can just start going at these guys. The battle lies before me. 
and we can be up there. Cloud Render just makes his way slowly, but we're getting there. And Diana's squad is so good. Tons of money. You didn't see this one coming. Nice iron. Wait. We don't have to kill everybody, right? We just have to reach the gate so we can start attacking this guy. Because apparently it might take a couple rounds. Okay. We can at least heal, so let's do that. We don't really need to move anybody else because everyone else has already done everything. Perfect. One more obsidian. Very nice. And then we're done. Chapter complete. Seven turns. Lots of surrenders. Extra money. Rank S. Looks like our thieves found their hiding spot. Seems like a trap. Better keep your eyes open then, and blink us out if anything goes sideways. We need the book. Hmm. By the heavens. Isn't that that crazy mage who gave us such trouble before? Yes. And apparently one of the Nephilim. Interesting. So does she join us then? Yep. I dead? Just about. But you'll be fine. Splendid. Looks like those Imperial goons didn't get the best of me after all. I do suppose I owe you a thank you, hmm? How about an apology, you know, for stealing our property? Oh. That belonged to you? Goodness, had I known I was dealing with such lovely specimens, I would have just asked nicely instead. Name's Beatrix Pendergast. Pendergast? As in Edmund Pendergast? That's the one, darling. Edmund's little princess. Interesting. I wonder what someone from such a family would be doing out here. Beatrix, you must come with us. You are one of the ancient avatars of Donar reborn into our world. Wait just a minute, how did you... Aha, of course, you pulled me from the brink. Signature move of Donar himself. Well, you, well, fancy meeting you here a thousand years later. Knew the gigantic paladin, inheritor of Galzus' legacy, no doubt. Eat any good books lately? Beatrix and the Nephilim are destined to reunite and fight Xanatus in the final battle. It is written within the prophecy, which has thus far come true. Yes, that is the prophecy, as they say, isn't it? If you don't like prophecies, take a look. All but one Nephilim avatar is standing in this room. We have much to discuss. Let's head back to Embor. Oh, really? And just why should Beatrix Pendergast comply with the likes of you, hmm? I have an army, and you owe me one. You know, I always did love it in Embor. 
what with the year-round bone-chilling winter, the endless featureless fields, the bland, bland large-based cuisine, yes, what a lovely destination. After you. <laughs> Great. Doesn't seem very loyal at all. Emperor Palace Throne Room Headquarters of the Nephilim Army. You lovelies found me at the shrine in pursuit of my divine weapon. You see, as the legend goes, the original Nephilim sealed away their weapons after defeating Xanatus and spread them throughout the world. Then the temple decided, like many things, to keep this a secret. No need to fuss, you're in a treat. Heard about your little divine intervention on Mount Ptolemy. Well, you haven't tasted power. These weapons will unlock every bit of your potential. There's the magic of Cyrene at Mount Karnak. Balmung, the divine greatsword of Ishtar at Sendrak of City. Valor, the gauntlet of Galzus at Greywin Peak, belonging to our paladin of prolific proportions here. Skyrender, underneath the royal palace at Sayuna. Well, I suppose the heavens have chosen this poorly dressed rogue to carry this torch, eh? Congratulations. Great. At least I'm decently clothed. And last and certainly not least, Light Fury, the Sword of Donar, which dealt the final blow to Xanatus, piercing the demon's heart. Of course, this one's at the Imperial Capital. We know this one belongs in your hands, Draymond. You holding Light Fury would be the closest any of us mere mortals can get to sitting down and having tea with Donar himself. Two are already found. Mine and the Balmung, wielded by the Black Knight, you darlings refer to as the Xanatus. And a Xenitus. There are three ripe for the picking. And if they get their hands on these weapons, then you'll be in a bind, won't you? Beach, how exactly do you know all this? I had a feeling you asked, so full of curiosity, this one. I take it you've become acquainted with the followers of Xanatus, huh? We have. Oh, I know. You're a real thorn in their side, Avatar Donar. Or as they'd say, the false one. Once they found out I'm one of the Nephilim, they tried to make me one of them. Odd, I figured they'd prefer just to kill me off. That's what happens when you fly too close to the sun, you get burnt, and I burned them quite handily. Stole all the secrets I could, and left to find my destiny, the magic of searing. And here you are, falling into our lap. Seems a bit convenient for my tastes. We live in a time of fate, darling. Is it so hard to believe that we Nephilim would find each other? Either way, you're Nephilim and we fight together. Just don't disappoint us, Beatrix. You gotta admit, you not get off on the right foot. Oh, push, bygones and all that. I do wonder, what besides favor with the heavens do I have to gain by lending you my considerable power? All I can offer you is a target-rich environment, and that's my final offer. Don't pretend that's not exactly what you want. Touché, Avatar of Donar. Fun. Uh, we do this one. The success of the Nephilim army has awoken the sleeping hearts of the people of Tanra. They are finding the courage to fight to restore their freedom, but the forces of the Empire are still quite powerful and will crush any new resistance that might organize. The translated scrolls of the Historian Magnus point to Nephilim Shrine at Greywind Peak in the Sandraka continent. Seeking both to weaken the Empire here and to unlock the power of the Shrine, Draymond's army establishes a base in Sandraka district. Conquering the local Imperial Army based at the port city of Crestmoor would be a straightforward task, however an old, but all too familiar enemy makes itself known. I've got something important for you, Draymond. The deploy option has changed. Interesting. Now, since we have access to more of Tanra, there are side quests available. After selecting Deploy, we'll give you the option continuing on the ch next chapter in our fight or completing side quests. These are optional, completed in any order as long as they're available. We need every bit of strength to gather for this fight, so let's get these done. Interesting. Ishtar. Okay. Gaiden chapter, eh? Neat. Alright. Well, conversations. Beatrix and Jewels. Hey, Beatrix. How are you liking it here? Well, I guess I'm supposed to belong now. So you're just going to fly solo? Well, I'm not going to let that happen. Is that so? Good luck with that. 
but you do seem like a real sweetie. Perhaps I'll make you my most prized servant. Oh, can I ask, how did you become magically gifted? Never seen your tricks, even from the most experienced battle mages. Tis my gift and my curse, jewels. My existence is a bit of an experiment. You see, when the first in the film these cultists knew about, so they tried to twist me in every which way to get me to do their bidding. Really messed with my brain, they tell me. Messed with your brain? Don't you see? The elevator doesn't reach the top floor here. A few nuts and bolts missing. Who knows, it might just snap in the middle of this conversation and make you explode, just for fun. What do you think about that? I don't think you'd do such a thing. Ha, huh, if you say so. Hey, you're a gem, but I've got to practice my skills and I need you to keep your distance. Do care, hmm? Alright, sure, have fun. That I can do. Alright, they've become friends, that's good. The Pendergoss fortune. Beatrix, I have much to ask you. Please, ask away. I'll talk as long as I'm not bored. It helps that you are pretty. Don't let anyone tell you that being pretty isn't important. You are the Pendergoss family. Has an Edmund Pendergoss, richest person alive? Yes, indeed, the very same. Must stand and inherit untold riches. Well, I do deserve all the world's riches, but that doesn't mean the old man's going to be bequeathed his fortune solely to me. He's got an army of... Psychophants looking to take a bite out of his empire at all times. Guess we'll see when that cold, ancient heart of his finally gives out. Not the closest with your father, huh? Oh, really? Whatever gave it away? No, nope, maybe someday I'll tell you why. I'm wondering how Pendergoss came into this wealth. Almost seems unfair. Well, if the lion slays the gazelle, would you rather lament in the unfairness of nature or try to become the lion? You know, anything but the Arthurian crisis? like to say I'm a history nerd, so yes. Oh well, Poindexter, you're in for a treat. Pendergast has always been around, but once the world got a nice facelift from the destruction caused by the Ethereum crisis, Pendergast was there to buy up all the cheap and real estate. That, and they financed the reconstruction efforts from shore to shore. That sort of thing pays off big time. Tis the banker who rules the world without swinging a sword. Wait a few generations, invest in the earnings, and now they control whoever they buy. You know, that does sound pretty unfair, now that you mention it. So in lieu of you inheriting misfortune, what exactly has led you down this path? And what path would that be? I guess I don't know that one either. I will confess I sometimes feel like an alien living among humans. Your customs and earthly pleasures bore, bore me. What really gets me going is seeing what kind of disruption I can weave. Right now, that puts me on your side. But later, if I should develop the means, I'm not sure. I could become your greatest adversary if doing so is entertaining to me. Does that make you nervous? Yeah, a little. But I'm a better judge of character than you think. If I truly felt you would bring this down, I'd let you know. But don't feel that way. Ah, huh, so trusting. Easier to devour when I'm good and ready. You are a character. And you have successfully entertained me. But I can already feel boredom creeping in. Do be dear and visit me some other time, hmm? Enjoy. Interesting. Faction rank up. Nice. That's good. Did we get... We have 13 scrolls now. Nice. Okay. Great. We can actually do some stuff here now. Um... I mean, that's nice. Dragoons are now light cavalry type. That's also extreme. That's nice. Man, all of these are going to be good. We don't really use artillery at all. Okay, I would like to unlock this one. And maybe these to, like, unlock that. Because what's this one? Dragon Ball. Unlocks Dragon Rider class. Yeah. I mean... That seems pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And we'll aim for that as well. There we go. Okay. We'll head to our marketplace. We'll just see what we have. Tristan. Meh. 
Jenia. Also, meh. Armand, though, is a gunner. Level 35? What is going on with these levels? This might not be a bad one to get. Because we are we don't have a lot of resources, so we can come back to that. Buy the iron, buy the gems. What's obsidian edge? Well. It's okay. Smite. We should take those anytime we see them. Okay. I'm gonna get Armand. I don't know if we'll use him right away, but we should get him. Okay. Um. What are you missing out on here? Sunstone. We're missing sunstones. Okay. We can upgrade you. <laughs> we can start building gunners now too here. So these are guys are going to take all of our basically resources. What does it take in order to make you a dragon rider? you get for doing it. Like it doesn't look like anything changes other than threat. Interesting. But it costs two obsidian and two gems to do it. Okay. Here we can make you into a silver dragon. So let's just do that. Okay. Can upgrade you into a ranger or an assassin. I like the rangers. And they also don't <laughs> use a lot of our um, points either, which is nice. Sentinels, okay. Your strength isn't high enough, okay. Let's check out your, do we have, we don't have enough of those to get your strength up there. So you're going to be stuck doing what you're doing. Okay. Anybody else? Well, we have Beatrix as a unit on her own. Leader traits, none. That's fantastic. Um... Haughty. It's not affected by the morale of her squad. Well, that's both of those are very nice. Okay. And Simon's squad is okay. I'm gonna go Warbo. Or actually no. I'm going to go with a gunner over here, because we can. And then, oh, we can also upgrade you. That's fantastic. Oh, only into that. Um, why can't we get you into a knight yet? Your strength is actually super close, so if we give you one of these, yeah.
huge. And then, yeah, we will do this. We could do a raider. Warbows are so nice, though. Yeah, we'll do a warbow. Can't really make you anything else right now. <laughs> We can still upgrade you. Oh, into a samurai. Interesting. We can kind of like get the best of both worlds here. You know, let's try it out. Maybe we move you like that, something like that. I don't know. And I think that's it for what we can do here. We can add people though. There we go. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I don't know if she should have anyone with her. But we'll do it. And we'll get artifacts for them as well. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> Immune to critical hits wouldn't be a bad thing. I could do this. And then move them all up to the front row. Maybe a little bit of evasion. That's kind of fun. All right. There we go. So next time, I guess we're going to explore some of these side quests. See what they are. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you then. Bye for now. <laughs>